up everyone, this is Elijah. Let me welcome you to another video by the app lifestyle.org, the place where the world is literally in the palm of your hands. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the app M1 Finance. Now, I've already done a review and a tutorial, but sometime between those videos, there was an update to the app, which in my opinion is very favorable. But the big thing about M1 Finance is, it's always been a case where you had to auto invest meaning any money that you put in the account would automatically get invested into your portfolio nothing necessarily wrong with that but what if you just want money in there for the sake of just having it in there and you want to invest it later well that wasn't really an option until a little while ago there actually is an option where you can disable auto investing and that's what we're going to be talking about in this video so the first thing you want to do is open your M1 Finance app. At the bottom of the screen, there's gonna be an arrow that's pointing downward. You wanna click on that, and when you click on it, it'll pull up this little thing which shows your cash balance, and also when the next trading window begins, which is good information to know. At the bottom of the screen, you're gonna see where it says Auto Invest. You wanna click on that, and then you're gonna have the following options. By default, it's set up on Auto Invest, meaning that any money that hits your account is gonna automatically be invested into your pies or portfolios. The second option is you can set a threshold so that after your money exceeds a certain amount, then it starts auto investing. So you could set the threshold for $250 for instance. And once it reaches above 250, that's when it will start auto investing. That's good to use if you wanna accumulate a certain amount of money which you have set up with automatic deposits. But in all fairness, you're probably gonna wanna either auto invest or just not do it at all. And the third option is to turn auto invest off. Now turning auto invest off means that any money you transfer into the account is just gonna sit there until you either turn auto investing back on or you invest in a stock uh, directly. So this also means that any dividends you're paid will just accumulate in your account and you can just withdraw them at any time. So if you don't want your dividends automatically be invested into your portfolio, this is something to definitely take in consideration. That does it for this video. Real short topic, but a very important one. Since it got updated after I did the M1 Finance tutorial, I felt the need to go ahead and share this because it is fairly important. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. We talk about apps that make you money, both actively and passively. It's Elijah with the App Lifestyle. Until the next time, I'll catch you in the next video.